Hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome back to my Minecraft Let's Play. Here I am doing transport stuff on the Viewer Plus server. Now, of course, when you're transporting around and you're going about to various different places, you've got, you know, when you're in charge of transport, you've got a few different responsibilities. Okay, you, not only do you have to make sure that these paths are nice and clear and you haven't got weeds and stuff growing on them, and you've got portals to go through to get to places, railway lines to go. Not only that, you have to get the maps. The maps so people know where they're going as well. And as you can see here, this is the map that we did a few episodes ago for this district. Now, each district has its own little map, just to tell you what's in that area. But we've got no map to tell you how to get and find the various different districts around the world. So, we, if we look at our to-do list over here... You can see that we've got add local maps. That's the district maps. We did that, but what we now need is a world map. So that is what we're probably going to do today. And we're going to approach it in a different way to which we approached the district map. Now, I wasn't going to do the world map until I got my wings, which, as you can see, I've got now. And we talked about this a couple of episodes ago where I got the wings and then um, it was all fine. And we actually did um, an episode where we went and got more elytras from more end cities because not only do we want wings, but we want to be able to have a backup in case I inevitably lose them. So if we look at my supply now, I've actually got three spare elytras at the moment, which is brilliant. We don't need to go out elytra hunting for a while now. And we can use this elytra, which now has un un unbreaking on it, um, and a load of rockets to map out the world. That's the plan. Now, uh, you may have noticed I've got pretty good kit now. So I've upgraded my kit a little bit. It's not perfect. Some of these weapons and tools are missing some enchantments that I would probably normally have. And you can see them there. I'm just scrolling through them now. But it's a lot better than what I had, and that is thank you very much to a brand new Enderman XP farm that we have in the end. And me, Egg, Potty Piggy went out to the end to build that.
So today it's all about the world map and we're going to need a lot of paper. Luckily I have a half decent amount of paper already because of the sugarcane farm, the temporary one that I put outside the workshop. Um, initially I did it so I had lots of paper for lots of rockets and I'm going to take lots of rockets with us as well. Um, but it's going to be really good for making our maps. Now we're going to need quite a few maps and we are going to therefore need to make uh, a few compasses right I'm really relatively low on resources now how many can i make 14 that will do let's make 14 maps there we go we've got a total of 16 maps to start with now we also need item frames but i'm getting a little bit low on them we're going to also need banners so we'll take a couple of banners with us as well there we go and let's get rid of the redstone and the last remaining bits of iron so i think we've got enough banners we might have enough paper only 44 i think we're going to need some more i think but we we can come back and get some more sugar cane soon and we've got enough maps i think for now so let's take a load of sticks have we got leather um Yes, there we go. So we can actually make ourselves some more item frames as well. We're going to need more item frames than that. We can't have 16 maps and only 12 item frames. There we go. There we go. We've got 20 item frames now. That's fine. It's fine to have a little extra. I don't think we're really going to need anything else apart from maybe this. Oh, I can hear that. What's that? Is it? Oh, it's a, um, it's a raid party. I don't know what you're doing over here, guys, but I'm safe in here, so I don't care. We're going to need this. We're going to need our cartography table, because otherwise, when we make our maps bigger, it's going to be a pain. So let's just get my axe out and quickly take that with me. There we go. So it looks like the sugar cane has grown. Yep, it's been growing for a while. I think Party Piggy has been AFKing in this area. Um... It's a bit loud, isn't it? Even turning the sounds down, it's still a bit loud. Um, this is like probably the worstly designed cane farm that I could possibly have done. But it allows me to get um, a relatively decent amount of it. And it'll do for now. DJ Egg has got an automated one um, at his base, but the problem with that is is the size and yield is is not big. We need a big automated one. There we go. That is almost certainly going to be enough paper. So we'll just nip. Why is there a hole there? There wasn't a hole there before. There's a hole there now. Uh, we're going to nip inside and just paper that stuff up. Oh, we've got so much paper. There we go. We've got way too much paper. Doesn't matter. We can use it for rockets if we need to. Right then. Um, it's night time, so we'll sleep. Boop. There we go. And after a little sleep, we're going to head over to spawn. Now, because we've got an elytra with unbreaking, and we've got rockets, and I want to show you... We're actually going to fly from the industrial district to the spawn. It's the closest district to spawn by far. Um, I mean, if we look at the the mod world map, which kind of makes the world map sort of pointless, it, this is a client side mod, and I do it for you guys so you can see what's going on. But to have one in game that we can label, that's the important bit for me. So you can see uh, here, this is spawn. And that is the industrial district, okay? So it's not a massive distance away, but there's no other districts in the area. We have to zoom out a little bit more. You get Egg's area up here. Brandon's area is just off the edge of the map there. Elaine is over here with the logging district. I think Party Piggy is um, somewhere down here. Yeah, Party Piggy is here at the moment, building away. So there are various different places in the world. Now, while we're here, actually, we should actually label up one of these banners and hide it someplace so uh, let's do that now let's get on here and bear me a second 
we're going to call it, it is definitely the industrial district. But I want to get the spelling right. So I'm just doing it over over in Chrome first and then we'll paste it in here. Oh, what? Why won't it let me type? I just can't type. Oh, it's because I haven't put the banner in. Banner in first, then you can type, and then we will paste that in there. There we go. Industrial district. And we have to hide this somewhere. Um, and then we'll have to do the map on it. So I think... We'll just put it like down here on the underside. I think the dark the, the dark grey works well actually. Like if you want to see it, if like if you need to see it, you can make out that it's there. It's not like invisible. But that'll be alright. Okay, so let's start over there. I'm not gonna put a map on that yet. Let's start over at spawn. So we're gonna take off. And as we take off, we can admire the landscape beneath us. There's quite some interesting caves and ravines there's still a bee hut here I think DJ Egg missed one of the bee huts and then we've got this island over here I haven't a hundred percent decided what I'm going to do with this island it is going to be part of spawn but it might be where we should display the map but I'm going to start at the portal okay we're gonna start here this is where we're gonna do our first maps We'll put the map like temporarily just like over here or something and then we'll move it to where its final resting place is another time. So we need, we've got a banner here for, what's that banner for? What does it say? Nether hub. Yeah, I suppose we do want to know where the nether hub is. But the nether hub is at spawn and this is spawn, so... Uh, where's I need to go and get, I should really bring an anvil with me shouldn't I oh, well there's an anvil in the starting hut which isn't going to stay here forever um, so there we go spawn and then we'll borrow that we've got an iron farm on the server it doesn't matter if people steal each, each other's anvils to a point, uh, yeah, it's a small bit of inconvenience, but that's the spawn hut. It's going to be going soon, so there we go. Right, okay, so we've got our spawn banner. We can pop that down here as well. We can make our map, so we can just make our map by doing that and clicking start here. There we go. But that's the most zoomed in version, which we used that on on these maps, the local maps, the uh, the district maps. You can see, look, there's a zombie XP farm up there. Pretty sure I showed you that before. Um, yeah, we, we actually used the zombie XP farm in the episode. But we don't want that level of zoomed in for a world map. We want the most zoomed out level. So the first thing we're going to do is also label that spawn. Then we're going to come over to the cartography table and pass this through a few times. So each time we pass it through, the map size changes. So you can see now we are just a small section in there. I feel like we should go at least one more level. There you go, look. Um, how big does the spawn thing look on there? Okay, that's still quite big. As this is a world map, let's go another level. Can we even go further? We can't. Okay, so we've Yeah, that's the maximum amount of zoom we, that we can get. You can't go any more zoom. Uh, let's see what that looks like. Oh, wow. That is, that is huge in comparison. Um, maybe I've zoomed out too far. Maybe I've gone one too far. Okay, let's do a little a little fly. Oh, it's going to take an eternity to do this. Okay, so I've gone over to DG Egg's base, and you can see in the map how far away that is relative to where we are. So let's just make that bigger so that we can all see that there. So that's where DG Egg's base would be compared to spawn on a map of this size. And you know what? I th I think I've actually done the right thing. It's going to take a while, 
But I think maximum zoom is actually the way forward. It is. It is. So uh, while we're here, let's go and pop down a uh, another map bit. So we're going to have to get a little banner. Oh, I didn't bring the anvil with me. It's okay though because we'll just borrow eggs banner. A uh, banner. Well, look, there's the sugarcane farm I was talking about. It's only. I mean, it's a nice little sugarcane farm, but it's only what's five pieces of sugarcane? Six pieces? Six pieces of sugarcane. So, uh, it's not massive in terms of production. So let's get this banner here, and we haven't got like a proper name for this area yet, but I think we're calling it the Mob District. How do I spell district? Hang on a minute, I've got an idea. <laughs> yeah. We'll borrow that from when I pasted that in there. There we go, Mob District. Probably rename that later. And then we've got to go and put this near eggs portal. Because we don't... Well, I suppose we could put the banner more in the middle of the district, but we'd have to hide it somewhere. So it's like not making it look ugly. I mean, then maybe we could put it like somewhere down here. I mean, I'm not quite sure why the ah, signpost down here, but... Egg's got a furnace in his wall. How creative is that? Um... We could hide it in the in in the apiary, in the bee room. Just put it like above the door or something. There you are, mob district. Why did I I for some reason I thought I'd need sixteen maps for this. Sixteen I don't think I'll even need six. I'm going to have to fly around for about 8.3 million years. Ah. At least I can fly with the map in one hand and rockets in the other. Okay. So we've done spawn in the mob district. I think what we should do is we should add the industrial district. And then I'll do a load of exploring and we'll see how everything's getting on. So as we're off the edge of this map now, we need a new map. And we need to then make that new map as huge as possible. So let's run it through this. And there we go. That appears to be the maximum we could do. Yep, it is. Oh, we're just a tiny little dot. If we click that, we've got industrial district. And if we get a couple of the uh, item frames we can see how these relate to each other I think so I think they're gonna be like this they are okay so in theory it'd be quite nice to start off with just like the inner four and then we can work our way out bit by bit I mean it is relatively small at the moment but that'll be okay that'll be fine right I guess I better map these out I'll see you in about eight Point three billion years. So there we go folks, the world map has been officially started. For now it's only a 2x2, two two, but I do intend to expand it later on. And you can see I've also added a few extra areas on here. Down in this ocean down here we have where the monument farm's going to be. And down here at the bottom we've got something called Party Zone. That was just where Party Piggy is starting to build. That is actually, from what I hear, going to be a savannah style ranch farm thing, potentially. It's all in the works, so that's going to be interesting to see. 
We definitely need a copy of this in the nether hub, and I think we might put a copy of this at everybody's bases, but we've got a couple of more places to label before we actually put this anywhere else. Now, there are a couple of things that we still need to do. Now, if we have a look over here at the to-do board, we're doing quite well with various different things. I would say that that is phase one of the world map completely done. So we can take that off the board and uh, we can just do that. And we've got a blaze farm and, a, and the monument farm that I mentioned to do, cobble farm and things, which I'm going to help uh, Elaine do. A horse ranch, that's going to be a good one because I... I've got some good ideas about how that could look really good, but we're not going to do that round here. We're going to go and do it in the medieval districts. We're going to do it in a very medieval style. So we've got that. Um, now, there are a few things that aren't on here that we do need. So as we're going around building things and putting things up there and exploring, there's a few supplies that we need. For example, we might need some iron. Well, we've got an iron farm, and we might need um, some. We might need some rockets. Well, outside we've got a, a mob farm with uh, the uh, what was it? The, the, the gunpowder, and we've got a sugarcane farm. That one's temporary, but I'm sure we'll be doing uh, a proper one soon in a group event at some point. But one of the things that I think we need is more end roads. Now, these are a couple that we snagged whilst we was in the end. Um, but I don't want to have to keep going to the end to harvest them. I want to be able to make my own. Now, if I remember correctly, off the top of my head, these end rods, they require... Uh, oh, I accidentally made a hole in the floor. Um, they require blaze powder and chorus fruit, I think, to make. And I think they look really good. I mean, that is actually a relatively good place for them to be if the floor wasn't that low. Um... And yeah, two on end to end is even better than just one. Now, we are going to have a blaze farm sometime quite soon. Maybe even before next episode. But one thing we haven't got is any chorus fruit. And we haven't got that growing anywhere. So let's take a very quick journey to the end to go and get some. So let's see how fast we can do this. We've got 53 rockets, plenty of ender pearls. So we go out our door. We take off as quickly as we can. I know the right direction I need to go because while well, I've done the trip a few times doing all those maps took a lot of durability at my elytra um, now it's got unbreaking three on it so I can fly for about half an hour before I lose all my durability but flying around doing all those maps really did it in and the best place for me to mend my elytra is actually in the end where we did that enderman farm that I showed you at the beginning of the uh, of the episode. So, we're flying out this way. We're going to go over Elaine's base. Most of Elaine's base is actually under the ground. Past the pillager outpost and over the racing lake. I think we're going to have boat races around here at some point soon. And we've got these pillars here to denote where the end portal is going to be. And sometime soon, as I keep saying with a few of these things, we're going to have a sand farm down here. So, um, we'll probably have a quicker way in and out. We may even have a nether portal and a nether system come in here. Well, not even may. We will. Sometime soon we will. Uh, but for now, we, uh, we, did, we did it in one of the live streams, actually. We took these blocks out with a mushroom. Uh, but for now, we're just going to jump in. There we go. Now, we could fly to one of the end islands, but we're not going to do that. We're going to come over here. We're going to nip through one of the uh, one of the uh, end gateways, and you can just see in the distance there. There's the Enderman farm with the magenta. I love the magenta on that. I think it ma you know it goes well um, with the theme of the end. So let's pop an Ender pull through here. There we go, and it shouldn't take as long to just quickly find some chorus fruit. Now to make more chorus plants, we need the flowers. And we can shoot them off, apparently. So let's give that a try here. Yep, that kind of worked. So if we shoot the flowers off the top, and then just come and bash it down. <laughs> my arrow... Are they the real arrow? Yeah, my arrow's nearly hit me in the head. We've got three flowers. That's not too bad, but let's just get a few more quickly. 
And I think between a little chorus farm and the, uh, what's the other farm? The blaze farm. We'll then be able to supply ourselves with end rods. And I was thinking of actually lighting up the railways with end rods. They are one of my favourite light sources, um, depending on the style that we're building. So when we're doing the horse ranch, we will probably build um, with lanterns and torches. And I seem to have got disorientated. There it is. Um... But for a lot of the other things, maybe in around the industrial area too, oh, I missed it, then I think end rods are going to be quite good, especially in the nether. So let's lob another ender pearl through. There we go, we end back up here. And we can just glide down. Oh, I've angered one. Leg it. Ha ha. Yep. Didn't follow me through. Or if it did follow me through, it would actually end up at spawn. So there we go. We've we've done the trip. We've done the journey. Um, and we've done the map. So now we can get the chorus flower. And I don't actually remember how it all works. And I'm not exactly sure. Like, do we need the blaze powder to make end rods? And is it the chorus? I You know what? I can't remember. Uh, let's do end. So we can make end crystals if we get all the ingredients. The recipe's not showing up. Hang on. So I just had a look and it is popped chorus fruit. So we need to get a load of this chorus fruit, lob it in a furnace. And I d what we'll do for now, we will pop the flowers in here but I what we'll do as well so we we'll probably actually try and get one to grow and I don't know if it has to be placed on end stone or what it can be placed on certainly got can't be placed on stone so let's get some end stone and I'm pretty sure if you place a block above it there we go in just the right height I think it's like here then it will grow outwards in the right style I don't know because there's a certain style of growth you can do I think that might be it I don't know we'll find out we'll leave it like that and we'll see what happens there we go and now we've done that we've got some popped chorus fruit which means now we should have a brand new recipe end rod and boom 24 of them fantastic so there we go folks we can now farm these flowers to make the fruits and the fruits and things to make more things and we can make our own end rods um however we need blaze rods so i guess let's build a blaze farm We'll finish with that. Here's a time lapse of the, the Blaze Farm when we build it, which we haven't at the time that I'm saying it now, but by the time the episode gone out to you guys, it will have been built, so I'll stick it on the end and here it is. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Take care, and for now, goodbye. <laughs>